What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nigerian Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, let's talk to the people about the Superman update, because this is one of the movies that we are looking forward to seeing. And I want to see what happens after Superman Legacy, because you all know, if this doesn't work out... So, there's been some updates with uh, the participants for this film. There have been some casting and there's been some concerns with regards to how many characters will be in this film. Will, will we have enough attention on Superman and, and Lois and, 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 and Lex and all those people? Uh, Brian, could you give us an update on, on the Superman uh, legacy film and uh, some of the concerns people are having? Uh, and James Gunn actually responding to one of those concerns. Yeah, so th there's definitely been a casting announcement, I think, for casting for a Green Lantern, turn, a Metamorpho, a number of sort of known DC characters, Justice League related characters. And then there's been a rumor going around that um, David Zaslav's actually behind some of it, kind of forcing characters into the film to make it more Justice League like. So after that came out, Gunn surfaced on social media, as he usually does, to say that this movie actually has fewer like fewer main characters than any other movie that he's directed. Okay. As a way to say, I don't understand anyone's concerns about the size of the cast, given I know the story, and the story does not have many feature characters. Which I don't really know why he would lie about that. So I guess we're just sort of, I guess I'm left to think, and I don't know what you think. Some of these casting announcements are cameos. Now, we, cameos become like a four letter word, uh, more than a five letter word around these parts. But it made me start to think that all he's doing, because this is not an origin story, is he's putting some pieces on the board where like you'd see them walk out of a door or you'd see them on a television in the news story or like something that would just acknowledge they exist but they yeah. literally have no bearing on the actual superman story that he's telling and if that's the case we can live with that i think i think with these cast things brian with uh, nathan fillion eddie Cathaji, mr terrific and anthony carrigan um as rex mason metamorph metamorpho basically what i think brian is not he's not wasting time yeah um these characters are not necessarily that important that they need their own origin. Perhaps they'll touch upon them and that's fine. Think about this for a second. There are many, 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 many millions of people who know a lot of these characters already. Mm -hmm. And are just looking to see how they're inter interpreted uh, in, in these films that James Gunn, whom is supposedly the, the you know, the guy with the brain and, and the master plan who was who was part of the MCU machine has ridiculed it. Now he has something to prove, Brian. So I think he's establishing a world where some of these guys already exist. And that's fine because I'm not really looking to see uh, any origins of some of these characters. Unless, you know, these characters are let's say popular enough, Brian, where the people are clamoring for these guys to see more of these guys, then perhaps who knows down in the future. But for now, um, I think it's fine. I don't, we don't, we don't need to see Superman in his own world. And then these, these, these just not these justice leaguers, but these other characters just popping up out of nowhere. Right. I think the other thing that's different, if we're comparing sort of the Deadpool secret wars cameo concerns with this is, look at the actors getting the parts, right? Yeah. So in the Marvel case, it's A-listers, it's it's huge stars, it's people who have been in the part before. It, it's, it's castings you don't make if you're trying to build a world. It's castings you make if you're just trying to generate buzz for a moment, right? Whereas, like, for the people he've got playing Rex Mason, like, nobody, nobody... That person, nobody knows who that. Like, that's not a, a, yeah. a name that's going to turn people's heads. So the fact that there's a Rex Mason in the world is perfectly valid because that mm -hmm. is part of canon. So mm -hmm. that person doesn't have to do anything in this film. They could literally just have like, oh, a 
like a nameplate. They could just have the character yeah. identified. And you're like, oh, there's Easter egg, Rex Mason. But he yeah. doesn't, that doesn't take away from Superman. Certainly. And then you can kind of tell. I mean, even Fillion, who's sort of known, he's kind of known almost as outside of Firefly. He's kind of known as more of like a, a, a supporting, fun type of guy. He's not, an, he's not a headlining type of star. So I don't yeah. think it necessarily portends like, oh, this is our Green Lantern forever in James Gunn's DC verse. We know it's a core anyway, so there could be more than one. So yeah, I, this one didn't, cons- once he said there's fewer main characters than any movie he's directed, I was like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll go along with that for now. So pretty much, Brian, these people are blowing it out of proportion. But, but I think it says something that on the one hand, they're freaking out about the cameos in this movie. And then know, you right? see what's going on <laughs> over there, and you're like, "Wait a minute now!" So, what do you think about that? Yeah, yo, it's like <laughs> reminds me. I, I, what popped into my head is the Notebook. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, the, so then I got to go back to the other thing though, because the other thing, of course, the you know the Cavill fans won't let this thing die. And so they've noticed the fact that, you know, with, with the timing of this and David Cornsweet's age, they're like, wait, like Cornsweet's the same age as Cavill was when he started as Superman and Man of Steel. So why are you telling a young Superman story and firing our boy? To which James Gunn got back on social media and said, I never said I was telling a young Superman story. He said, he said, our Superman is just younger than needed to be younger than Henry is now. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was an interesting distinction because it's sort of initially I kind of thought this was kind of like the equivalent of the Batman, like Superman year two. That comment made me think maybe he's a little more seasoned than we initially thought in this script, that he's a little more developed as Superman than we thought, which just made mm-hmm. me curious. Like, why would he put that out there as a bait and switch um, to yeah, then lead yeah, us into yeah. like a, a truly young Superman? So I, I thought it was an interesting kind of like t- nugget that he. He floated. AKA, I don't want Henry Cavill no more. It's over. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Which is fine. That's that. Yeah, you know. You know it's I like, wonder what Mark Cell say. It's like if they, they want you know if they want you to cook the meal, they might as well let you shop for some of the groceries. Like, that's it. <laughs> I, obviously, you know, I, I'm 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 high on uh, um, the the cast for Superman and for Lois Lane and and for the possibles for for Lex Luthor. And rumors so. that Brainiac is in this movie. Now we don't know. The what are your thoughts on that? So what we don't know, you know, again because he's building a world, we have no insight into the rank order of these villains, right? So the fact that there is a Lex in this movie doesn't necessarily mean that Lex is driving all of the bad news in this movie. The fact that Brainiac exists in this world, of course Brainiac exists in this world. We don't know, does that mean Brainiac is, you know, really the the, the puppet master for this movie? We don't know that. That's the thing. It's like, so we're going to hear, I think, talk of a number of villains in this movie without necessarily knowing who is actually the foil for this particular plot. Um, so I'm fine. Like, I mean, Brainiac has to come into this story. He has to. Certainly. Become, I mean, the fact that we've made it this far into Superman's film history without Brainiac ever appearing is kind of unconscionable. So yeah. someone has to try it. Uh, but I, I just, I don't know if it's going to be the central villain to this film. You know what popped into my head? Lex Luthor, Brainiac, Justice League Unlimited. Yeah, no Justice doubt. League That's why I said the Puppet Master, right? It's like yeah. he wasn't revealed to the end of the third part yeah. of that epic yeah. miniseries. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm putting my trust in James Gunn, man. I think he knows... What he's doing with this character, he understands the stakes. That trade is going to be something. I am going to make a prediction. prediction. <laughs> I'm going to make a prediction. Um, and I, I'm making it for a specific reason. James Gunn is, he is as well versed in what's going on in the world of cinema and superheroes on screen as anybody. And I think he will be aware of this problem as he puts this film together. We are definitely into this phase of the studios keep trying to do more is more with these projects, right? That's where the cameo fest really comes from. It's like, we're, 
everyone's trying to outdo themselves. They're trying to one up end game. They're trying to one up no way home. And the audience is clearly telling you that's the wrong way to go. Okay. My prediction is that this Superman movie will be a less is more Superman movie. I think yes. James Gunn is smart enough to know that 10 years ago in Man of Steel, and I wanted this at the time, Zack Snyder gave you a physically imposing, incredibly powerful Superman on screen opposite Zod in sort of this mo- in this throwdown fight. Zack's approach to the powers he had Superman display focused on Superman in hand-to-hand combat mm-hmm. versus Superman the movie was not really Superman fighting anything. It was his no. use of power was to save, was to heal, and ultimately to turn back time. Yeah. It wasn't until Superman 2 that they let him fight. Have him fight, yes, yes, yes. So I think James Gunn will move more towards Superman the movie in terms of like less is more. It's more about the character. It's less about having his heat vision incinerate bad guys and villains yeah. and buildings. Like and I think that's going to work because I think the audience is kind of telling you we are tired of more is more. We want something that's a, like, if anything, I would say if I learned something from the Batman, that was less is more. That was a like Batman is powered down in that movie. Yeah. He doesn't have yeah. all his toys. He isn't fully developed and it worked. Yeah. 800 yeah. million dollars. People love critics really liked it. People are excited yeah. for what comes next. That's my prediction. Superman, less is more, and it works for audiences and critics. I definitely agree with that, Brian, because I've been looking forward to seeing a movie where Superman does amazing, where he shows, where it shows him being Superman and not just him standing there fighting dudes because Superman is not a fighter like that. So it's boring watching him fight, actually. But him doing amazing things and saving people, that to me is for me anyway um what makes superman superman um superman returns that airplane scene that opening that was amazing yep. you know and they're so they i think james gunn is gonna definitely lean up that route and and, and you're right I, I, and that's a good prediction i think the less is more uh route will work for him or, or for us and for the fans and for the box office and and and, and let's see brian Hopefully it doesn't fall in the group of we're just tired of superhero films. We don't care what you put out, right? Um, regardless if it's fantastic or not, we're just not into it anymore. And that'll be the end of that. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, but let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the latest updates for Superman Legacy. What are your thoughts on on the, 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 the cameos that... Are, are, are to happen in this film and whether or not it'll be a distraction or what what are you or well you or whether you think what brian says with regards to these guys as having a name tag and uh, them being just easter eggs which is fine with me too um but certainly we don't need all these heroes we don't need to see the origins of all these heroes they can be already in place and i'll be fine with that i think most fans uh will be fine with that well, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. Hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!